Over the past five years, Credit Suisse has become one of the leaders in Switzerland, encouraging legal, cultural, and business changes to enable the United States to have transparent access to information about U.S. clients and to enable the United States to recover taxes that are still unpaid by Americans holding assets abroad. I can assure you that not all banks in Switzerland agree with us, and many have privately and publicly opposed the positions we take. But for me, it's very clear. Swiss banks can only hold assets that U.S. clients have established are compliant with U.S. tax law. Seeking out U.S. customers who want to hide untaxed assets and profiting from these untaxed assets is simply not acceptable. Mr. Chairman, we are working daily to build a different and better legal and cultural reality for Credit Suisse and the Swiss private banking model. We've tried to demonstrate leadership in this area in a number of different ways. We have supported legal steps, both here and in Switzerland, that would enable the U.S. authorities to obtain information and recover unpaid taxes from U.S. clients. Credit Suisse has strongly supported FATCA at every opportunity, supporting it in both the U.S. and Switzerland, and working closely with the United States Senate to make the law as effective as possible. While we supported FATCA, other banks opposed it. Because we embraced FATCA, Credit Suisse now has in place, sooner than FATCA requires, procedures to make sure U.S. clients demonstrate compliance with U.S. tax laws. In addition, Credit Suisse supports full information exchange beyond FATCA, including the OECD's efforts towards global standards for automatic information exchange. We have also supported the ratification of the protocol to the Double Taxation Treaty, agreed to by the U.S. and Swiss governments in 2009 and approved by the Swiss Parliament almost four years ago. Credit Suisse is ready at this moment to provide the additional information about U.S. accounts that has been requested by the U.S. authorities, but we have been unable to do so because the U.S. Senate has not yet ratified the protocol. We urge the Senate to ratify the protocol so that Swiss banks can assist the U.S. authorities in recovering unpaid U.S. taxes. We have proactively